So hi, so this is just a short video to, um, to show you how to set up a circular range control in your um, Unity uh, project. The control works in a Unity UI and what it does, uh, it's, it's this. Um, uh, so it allows uh, users to control a circular range just by swiping around also by clicking and it works also on on mobile and on touch here there's a, another presentation which shows a bit the debug so it shows you which is this this the area sensitive to touch and click and of course by by using it by testing with users on on touch devices i found out that the area has to be much bigger than i first thought and also I found out that um, it's actually a m more complex than I thought uh, to, to handle how people want, to, want to, it to behave, what they expect it to behave. And so if I, if I remove limit, I drag changes, it does things like this, so it keep, keeps following you even when you pass zero maximum, which is not what people expect. And they also expect it to work when you're inside and when you're outside, but not if you click around like in the central, in the center. So, so this is all stuff that has been taken care for you by by the code. And how do you set it up? Well, once you have a canvas and a UI canvas, and a, in my case also a panel, and I have a child object which is a circular area control, then drag the script over it. In this case, the this is the the wide area. Let's see it on the debug part here so this is the wide area which is sensitive to two events i added an event trigger component and which runs on drag and on point to click uh, as you may see from the code the two things the two cases are handled with with a, uh, some some little difference uh, once you have set up the the largest sensitive area then there's an um, unselected area a circle sorry uh, in which case is this uh, purple red here um so if i disable you can see it which is the background and then you have to have and there's no particular code to be set up there and then there's an image selected which is a yet another image there but which is which is crucial of type filled so filled with radio and so this is what the codes <coughs> is handling so the code handles the fill amount so it gives gives uh, it makes the the control work so here I also have a start object, which is uh, for the reference, uh, the angle uh, computation between mouse and uh, towards and another point towards the up direction, which is a nice uh, value, which uh, actually Unity helps you calculating. And the rest is just um, debug. Uh, internal is the internal uh, circle image which you may also use for stopping clicks if you don't want it to to happen inside actually that's not uh what uses i found to expect what i did is i they put on the number inside that it it <coughs> actually stops clicks by having by being itself an event trigger on point to click so that it doesn't propagate the event to the external uh, factors And then just a short note on the code, which is uh, just really a few lines. The control, uh, of course, once you set the control on on your um, object, a drag on it the the componing uh, images, the selected, in particular, the selected image which uh, which is of type fill, so that the component can can handle it. And then we have a, a state of the component, which. Uh, it's just two states in the example, not drag and dragging, which of course you can extend. And then the the what the 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 method that handles the events raised, which is drag on circular area, which handles both click and drag, uh, with some some simple distinctions. We calculate the angle uh, of of the mouse uh, or touch position, and um, then here we we normalize normalize uh, toward the minimal and maximal that is 360 degrees and zero degrees and um, ah there is a scale that you can set up as you've seen in my example i have one 
one control which goes from 0 to 10 and the other one that goes from 0 to 360 and of course you can use any kind of scale and um, yeah, that that that's these are some it sets it shows the in text what are the current value and it sets the fill amount and that that's it. It's um uh, it's really simple. So I hope this this uh, may be useful in your projects. Goodbye.